Welcome everyone. Um, I'm going to be taking you through um, right from the beginning in terms of how to actually access the online shop and um, how to um, and, and then actually going through step by step how to add a product, how you add a picture, how you add a description, um, category tags and so forth. I'm also going to be showing you where to add your own uh, business logo or a picture of yourself and a short biography of yourself. Um, so please feel free to um, ask questions as we go through this. Um, this is an interactive um, session and I will have questions right at the end and hopefully I can ask, answer them. So I'm going to share my screen and let's get started. Um, right. So, sorry, just bear with me while I move this to, uh, okay, I'm just going to move this right to the top. Right, so, um, Lee, we can see, of, see a, a login screen. I think can everyone see the login screen that I've got in front of me? Yes. No. Okay. So you should have been sent a um, when you sign up to register. You should have been um, just clicked on the link, and you should be able to put your username in. And what happens then is on the back end, I get a message to say, "Please approve that person as a user." I then go and approve that, approve you as a user, and you will then get a link on email, which you'll need to click on, and then it'll prompt you for to set up your password. So you set up your password, and then you will see you'll be able to get into the into the online shop. So where I am now is the screen where um, I'm using Nada's account, Nada Spencer's account. You can see her username. We've put in the password and um, I'm going to click on login. So this you would see once you've set up your password, you will see, see this, um, see the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on login and give it a moment. Right. Um, okay. So this takes you to the dashboard where once your products are set up, you'll be able to see the number of products that are set up over here. And it will just give you a, a snapshot of how many sales you've made, how much commission's been made, um, how many products are waiting to be, um, are, are needing your help to be packaged and sent to your customers, and how many products you have out of stock. Just bear with me a moment. What I want to do is I want to open a, another screen where I can actually talk you through what the live site looks like. Um, so give me one sec. And that's going to come through now. Right. So this is, in fact, what the site looks like. Um, I'm just clicking on the home page. Um, and then I'm going to click over here to um, the product page. Um, just give me a moment. Right. So over here, you can see um, on Nada's account, this is where, um, actually, just, just give me a sec. I actually want to go to Ceramicis. So, um, because I'd like to have this page because I can show you everything then. Um, so over here, once you've loaded your products, your um, logo or your image of yourself will come up here and a customer um, will be able to click on here. So say, for example, I want to go and see what products Nada has. I'll click on her photo and that'll take me through to all the products that um, Nada has. So at the top here, you can see her, um, the image of her, and this Latin text over here to the right is um, just some jumble, jumble text that she's got in until she's ready to put up her biography. 
a little write-up about herself. But I'm going to come back to that and park that for the moment. I want to talk about products and what you, how it looks on the site. And then I'm going to talk you through how you make it happen. So over here, um, looking at the product. Sorry, I don't know why this is showing um, scribbling. But anyway, uh, bear with me a moment. So um, you can see the product picture um, over here. You can see the product name the price of the product, and I'm then gonna click through into the product and um, actually show you further details about it. So over here, you can see the price comes up at the top. You have a description of the product just below that. It tells you how many of these are in stock. And, um, and it tells you what category it falls under, so plates and platters. Um, the last thing I want to draw your attention to is the, the various different images at the bottom. So you will have an option to upload a main product image as well as other images. So it might be a side view of the product. If I click on that, you can see the side view. Um, it might be an in-depth view to actually show the detail of the plate. And you may want to give another image from a different angle of, of the actual product. Um, over here is where you actually see the description of the product. So the modern contemporary platter with beautiful layering of slips and textures. And at the bottom here, you can see related products. So you can see Dream, dream pot, and you can see a celadon bowl over here. Now I'm going to go over to the back end, back onto this sheet, and start talking through how you actually add a product. Does anyone have any questions at this stage? Anyone? If you if you have any questions, please unmute yourself and let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll continue. Lee? And Lee? Yes. Um, I have two questions. Um, Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you okay. talk? Right. Yes, right. there we go. Is that a bit better? Yes, thanks. Um, how many extra images are allowed? So you can add, I'm not sure how many, but usually on an online shop, you can have probably between four and six or four and eight images. So it's, it's quite a wide variety. Um, and the okay, and the related images that you clicked on, is that related to the actual ceramicist or is that related to the category? So the related um, images right at the bottom of the page. Yes. So those are related products. So when you start getting a large number of products added, um, what you might find is, say, the 10 bowls that you've, you've loaded up, you will then might see the other remaining nine bowls below that. Of the um, same ceramicist? Of the same, from the same ceramicist. Okay, yes. all right, that's all I need to know. Thank okay. you. Sure. Is there anyone else? Okay, I'm going to continue then. Just give me a sec. Right. So on this page... Um, I'm going to click on products over here and we want to go to add, add a new product. Give me a second while this, while this loads up. Right. So at the top, you can see, um, a field, an area over here where you can fill in the product name. Um, it's quite self-explanatory what if you um, want to want to add a product name. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a test product. Um, so I'm going to talk you through everything that I do. I know that the product I want to add is a sea urchin bowl. So I'm just going to type in sea urchin bowl at the top here. Over here, I'm going to put a quite a nice detailed description. So I'm going to say handmade 
um, sea urchin, sorry, bowl um, with um, textured and tentacles. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> tentacles. Um, <laughs> that's not correct either. <laughs> You can think of a hat. Um, I'm so sorry. There we go. Textured tentacles and a lovely uh, green glaze inside. Yeah. Um, so if I wanted to, um, here it also gives you the option, if you would like to bold anything in your description or italicize or do anything in the, in the text editor, it's all uh, above here. Um, I'm going to, just to show an example, I'm going to bold sea urchin. So I'm going to make sea urchin bold. We then go down, if you're looking at, um, we're going down the page, I would like to go right down to the bottom and on the bottom right, I can set the main product image. So I'm going to click on set product image and I'm going to up, um, opt for upload files and over here if I click on select files I can actually go and have a look on my desktop and have a look for the pictures that I've got ready so I'm going to double click on that um, what I've done in preparation is I've actually named the images so that I know what's what so over here you can see that I've um, named the main picture so I'm going to select that and go open that's going to come up now. Um, what, you, what you will notice is all of these pictures are square images. Um, so that's one parameter we do need is um, we do need you, no matter what size the image is, you need to make sure that it's square. So anyway, coming back to the steps, I'm going to set the product image. And you'll see it gonna, it's going to come up on the right bottom over there. Then what I'm going to do is I know I've got two other images that I want to load for the product gallery. So I'm going to click on product gallery over here. And I'm going to upload files again. And I'm going to select both of them, both of these files and click open. And taking a little while, just bear with me while that happens. Um, um, can, Harley, can I interrupt a minute? Yes, of course. Down, when you said you see the picture at the bottom right or something. Yes. I didn't see anything at the bottom right. What, was it just, were you just going a tad fast or? Um, I might have been going a tad fast. Sorry. I didn't, <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't see like where, I could see where you say upload files. Okay. Okay, let me let me get out of the screen. So let me just add to gallery. Can you see the add to gallery on the right at the bottom? Where my mouse is. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. click on that. I'll tell you why I can't see it, it's because of all the pictures of the of the zoom people. Yes, so what you can do is you can minimize. You can minimize the pictures and then you can just see the screen that I'm sharing. I can minimize the people. Okay, because yes. they're on the you are on I'm here. Hello are on the right of my yes. screen. You so can also click on the top and drag it to the other side. You can drag it around. Oh, I see. Okay, let me, okay, okay. If you click on the black at the top uh, and you can just move it. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, okay, that's why I couldn't see what, what where you were. All right, okay. So okay. can we, so. Yes. Okay. Can you, so, so if we no. go, if we go to the top of the page, let me just recap. So at the top, you can see the product name, Sea Ocean Bowl, at the very top. I then move my mouse down and I've highlighted, you can see the description for the product, which is handmade Sea Ocean Bowl with textured tentacles and a lovely green glaze. As I scroll down, you can see the two additional product images that I've added, the side views of the bowl. And if we look right down on the bottom, on the very right hand side, you can see the main image for this product that I've uploaded. Can everyone see that? 
Yes. Okay, great. Now what I want to touch on, because we're not quite done. On the right, it's on the very right hand side. At the top, you can see save drafts and you can see preview. If you are busy loading your products and you don't have all the information or you late for a meeting or you can't finish it right now, what you can do is you can save your draft without losing it and you can come back and finish it later. What this means is that it won't publish onto the website right away. You'll be able to come back into it, click on it, edit it, and then you'll be able to um, publish it when you're ready to publish it. Something else I want to draw your attention to is the preview button on the, on the right hand side where I'm hovering over. If you click on that, and I'm gonna click on that now, it will actually show you in a minute, it will show you what you've got so far on your page in terms of your um, products. And it's taking its time. Okay, it's not gonna show you right now. Bear with me, we'll look into that and I'll, I'll come back to that. But let me move on to the product categories. So just below that, you can see on the right hand side, there's product categories. Now, these are various categories we've set up for the, for the online shop. We've tried to set up the main categories Obviously, we can't set up every single option as a category. So as you scroll through, you can actually see the main categories here. If there's something that you think we have totally missed, for example, we realize that it would be a good idea to set up a tile category um, because that's quite a popular category. So that's going to be added to the list in the next day or so. Should your product not fit into one of these categories? I'm going to ask you to select other. At the top, there's other. So if it's a doorknob or if it's something that doesn't fit into one of these categories below that, you will need to select other. The reason for these categories is very, um, is, is quite self-explanatory. It's helping your customer um, navigate or actually um, be guided to find what they're looking for. So you want to be as specific as you can. So in this example, because it's a bowl, I'm going to select bowl as a category. Right, I'm now going to move down onto product tags. Now product tags are the words that people, that your customers will use to search for your product. So if they know they're looking for a bowl, you will need to put the word bowl in here. If it's already been set up as a product tag, you'll find it here and it will come through. So you can see bowl there and I want to add bowl. If you have a couple of product tags that you want to add, for example, um, bowl, you'd also like to put in the sea urchin. You can add that as well. And because I know that my customers, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, will be looking for, they might search for my bowl by typing in sea urchin. So that's why I've selected that. Sorry, just bear with me a moment. Um, Sorry, it's a corn in my throat. Right. Okay, so that's everything down the right hand side. What I'm going to talk about now is the product data at the very bottom of the page. At this stage, before I get into that, does anyone have any questions? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Hi. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I've only just got the sound. So am I going to be able to log on to this? Um, will you tell me this later? I yes. We, we, we do. Okay, thanks yes. a lot. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Anyone else got a question, burning question right now? Okay. Okay. I'm then going to continue going through the product, the product information. So you can all see where I am. It's at the, at the very bottom of the page where it says product data. And yeah. here we're going to talk about price. So over here under general, you can see where I'm highlighting it. it says regular price. What we're looking for here is the price of the product. So I know that I want to sell the bowl for 250 Rand. That's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the regular price in. At a later stage, we will have a workshop discussing sale price and what you can do, all the, the lovely, wonderful things you can do with it. But for the moment, we're just going to put a regular price in for this bowl. I'm then going to click on inventory. Here is where you actually manage the number of bowls that you have of this product. So I know that I only have one bowl, one sea urchin bowl for sale at this stage. So I'm gonna enable, click on the, top, the tick box over here saying enable stock management at a product level. And I'm gonna let everyone know that I have one product of this, one sea urchin bowl for sale. Um, what you need to bear in mind is if your product is unique and you only have one bowl that looks like a sea urchin, like this product, you only you want to make that quite clear. So you would only make the stock quantity one. If, however, you have a range of sea urchin bowls in a range of colors and you've decided to make five blue sea urchin bowls and five in uh, all the other primary colors. You would then have the stock quantity of five here because you would have five very similar bowls that are all blue, that are all sea urchin and that are all the same size. Um, if there are, does anyone have any questions over this, about this? What do I think of? I think you sort of sort of said maybe, honey, if I can say in another yes, way. Yes, please. Like yes. If you're doing a range of sort of mugs, and you have ten mugs that are sort of near identical, but if you use the same glaze and they're the same design, they maybe just have slight differences because of how the glaze runs. You can mark it as having sort of ten of those mugs. But if you have a product that's the same shape and form, but say you want to offer it in different colors, you have to load that as a separate product. There's no options in your product sort of description here to where the client can choose, okay, I want this product, but I want it in red or yellow or blue. Mm -hmm. so those you'll actually load as different products. Thanks, Nada. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's the even inventory. Um, the next area that I wanna talk about is shipping. So if we click on shipping, on the left hand side here. Sorry, before you go out of there. Yes. It says allow about allow back orders. Do can we allow back orders? Can we uh, you can so what back orders? What you'll find is if there's something you don't understand, what I'm gonna ask you to do is hover yeah. over the question mark and it gives a small description. Okay. So over here it says if managing stock, this controls whether back orders are allowed. Um, so what this means is if someone sees a product that you've made before and you don't have it currently available, if you opt to allow back orders, then people will be able to order this from you, even though you don't have one available right away. Um, I don't want to go into this just yet. Um, we will be running a subsequent workshop on on back orders and on um, almost higher grade options, shall we say, for for these areas. Um, for the moment, I really just want to focus on helping everyone load their products, load the images, and and get something up so we can we can start playing with this and and start getting a feel for this online shop. Um, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Super. Right, so 
let's go if we jump to shipping so shipping over here we are what i do want to say right up front is this is a little bit of a gray area and um, the reason for that is we still dealing with a trial and error um nada i don't know whether you want to jump in here and just explain a bit about the shipping so what we are working with a developer is to obviously make it as easy as possible for uh, the potters to load work and also obviously uh, yeah, easy sort of for the customers. What we're going to do at this area is add an, a separate category where you can put the dimensions of your product as is. So without it being sort of in packaging, what is the size of your product? Because for clients, that's very important to see on your page you know, what, what is the size of the plate or the bowl, etc. And then there'll be this sort of separate area for the shipping where that will actually be the weight of your product once it's been packaged. So, um, you know, how, how, yeah, so that it can fall into the weight categories. Uh, we, we're going to be using U Africa. And over there, they have different categories as it is between sort of one and two kilograms, between two and five, or between five and 10. I think roughly it's right about those categories. What we were, you know, we've chatted about this quite exhaustively in the committees, what would be the easiest way sort of for our potters to sort of de determine their weights. And I think everyone would almost individually have to take one of their light, you know, products, uh, a medium sort of weight and a heavyweight product, see how you're going to package it, sort of wrap it up and actually measure that. And you can take that as a reference point sort of in the future when you're loading products, because it's going to be quite exhausting to kind of weigh each product. So everyone's going to have to have, you know, you can have a rough idea of what your products are actually going to weigh once they, once they are wrapped. Um, yeah, what's important to note, it doesn't have to be specific sort of to the milligram. It's just, it's so that it fits into a weight sort of category sort of for the shipping. We are, if I can just note on this point, going to have a Zoom session next week um, uh, with the people from Zizamele and we're going to do a whole workshop on shipping and packaging. And I think by then we'll also have some more clearer sort of guidelines in terms of yeah, the weight of packaging. Does that help? Anyone have questions? Um, you let us know. Sorry, may, may I ask? Yes. Hi there. Uh, uh, the workshop that you speak of about uh, packaging, uh, sorry, is that a workshop uh, with your, uh, was it New Africa? Or, Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sorry. The Hello. workshop, the workshop um, we'll talk about the guidelines that New Africa sort of set out, but no, it's from one of our ceramic sort of artists. Uh, you have okay. just done a lot of shipping. Zizamele has done a lot of exporting of work. Right. And I think that'll be very helpful for artists who have not um, packaged work perhaps before or would like to improve their packaging sort of techniques. It's helpful to hear from another artist what supplies they use and how they do it. That's, that's great. That really would be useful. So we're busy still yeah. setting that up. We should have the dates um, for that sometime sort of next week. And we'll also record that so that it could be watched at a later time because not everybody's going to be able to make the, the session. So then we'll make that video available. Thanks so much. Pardon? Yes? Hi. Um, sorry, one of the things that I've been asking or that I've been asked about is would we be needing exporters codes if we're wanting to send things overseas via the site? How would that work? Um, so I don't want to detract too much about loading your products sort of on the page, but I'll just briefly touch on that. And then that that's um, something that we're, we're trying to do so that the potters can do it under the banner of CSA. Things do sometimes take quite a lot of time. Um, Jill from the national committee has been in touch with sort of SARS, et cetera, and working with, everybody to try and set that up. So for the time being, for the first while, we are sort of more launching so that things sort of ship nationally. As soon as we have sorted that out and the ball you know, is rolling with that, then Namibia will be incorporated onto the shop and then we'll be doing international sort of sales. So, yeah. Thank you. We're hoping that you won't have to have your individual one. It's under the banner, yeah, of CSA. Awesome, thanks, Estek. Sure.
Super, thanks Nada. Um, we are going to be opening this up for questions that are just after this. I just want to bring this to a close. Um, actually finishing loading a product and then I want to talk about how you set up your profile. So if, um, if I can save this as a draft or actually publish this, let me rather publish it. So I'm happy with everything that I've put in here. I'm now going to publish this and all going well, we should be able to see it live on the site once it's published. So um, let me just give this a moment or two and, um, and it should take me back to the product page once it's ready. Um, right, okay. It said that it's published, so I'm actually going to click back on the product page on the left hand side um, menu over here. And you can see at the top it says Sea Urchin Bowl and it tells me that I have five in stock. The price is 250 Rand. The category I've selected is bowls. The tags I've selected over here are um, bowl and sea urchin. It'll tell me the date I've published it. And um, that's about all the information that you need at this stage. Um, right, so now um, I just wanna go back to the page. Give me a sec. And I want to go back onto Nada Spencer. Um, I might actually just go over here. Okay, and if I select bowls, we should hopefully see it coming up now. Um, yes, there we go. So can everyone see the, the product that we've added on the left-hand side, the sea urchin bowl um, yeah. over here? So now what I want to talk, talk about is really, um, if I, sorry, let me click into this and then I'll talk about the actual biography of where I want to, where I want to talk about. So now I'm going to be looking at where you add um, the name of your company, where you add your logo or an image of yourself and where you add a brief description about yourself or about your company that I'm highlighting here. Um, so I'm going to go back to the back to the dashboard and over here I'm going to click on store settings and that's then going to bring up the option for where I can either add upload a logo or I can upload an image of, of myself um, and it'll also show you where you can actually upload your profile. Um, so um, at the moment, Nada's just got some dummy text in here, but here you can actually say a little bit about yourself. You can also include any links to your website, um, to your own website if you, if you wish to. So here I'm just gonna update this and say, to see, to find out more about Nada, Nada Spence, sorry, give me a sec. Um, visit and then I'll put her website in. Um, if I can just say something, honey, at this point, yes. um, what's quite nice is we, we've been encouraging sort of all our members to please load their profiles on the national page. John has been working sort of quite hard. Um, they're doing a new launch of the national website for CSA. And what we'll have there is that there'll actually be a link. If you have a, um, a page on our online sort of shop, uh, there will actually be a link from the national website for CSA to your personal page on this, because there's a lot of traffic that will get through the national CSA um, webpage. So it's quite important to update your, your profile sort of for that. And then there'll be a link to the site. Super, thanks Nada. Um, so, yes. So, does anyone have any questions over here on this page of how to add your profile? Can I just ask something? The profile that we have on, we have on CSA's national <clears throat> um, website, well, is it not possible for that to be loaded 
onto this site as is. No. You can, but you'll have to do that, Anne. So okay. You, you can take okay. the same information. You can take the same text, it. yeah. So yeah. I can just learn it from here. I can just yes, learn yeah. it right here. Okay, that's fine. Um, thanks. Yeah. Okay. No, thanks. Um, Are there so any other? Can I interrupt? Yes. I've got, something's gone wrong here, and I can only see a big blank black square with my name on it, and I can't see your page anymore. How do I get back to seeing your page? Um, that I'm not sure about. JB, are just, you still? <laughs> yeah, maybe just look above your name if there's a small block that looks like a little screen. So I double click oh, on that. Oh, there we that. go. I just had to double click it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Can I, um, uh, can yes. I ask? Yes. Um, it's, for me, it's not clear the connection between this uh, national CSA site uh, with uh, 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 profiles yes. and the, the shop. And that's maybe, that's maybe beyond the scope of uh, what you're discussing here. But uh, just to say, that's not clear to me. And I think the uh, okay. previous question uh, maybe touched on that. Yes. Um, Nada, can I offer this over to you? Well, I, I, I will, oh, I will take it if you want. Yes. It's just when you do enter your profile on the national website, there, there's an option to enter if you're on the shop, there will be a link added. So if people oh, visit yeah. the website and look at your work, there will be a, a link saying visit my online store and it will take you straight to your page on the store. Okay. It's going to have to go through the whole store. Okay. That's so I think we just needed to clarify because lots of people, when we've been talking about the new national website, have, they've, they've sort of confused that with the online sort of shop and they've seen them yes. as the same thing. It's not. It's two completely separate sites. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I think I've gone through everything I wanted to cover in terms of um, adding a product and adding um, information about yourself. Does anyone have any any further questions? Should I stop sharing and then we can just all all see each other's faces or? Okay, I'm so, going to yes. I say something. Um, yes, please. Um, are you still going to go on? I see it. You got to do the seller's email, and then it says your PayPal account. Are you going to touch on that, or is that for another? So, so we actually what we're going to be doing. We we still ironing out a few creases here and there, and we actually not going to um, need this field PayPal email. So we're actually going to be hiding that. Um, so in future, you won't see that. Okay. So what is the portal, the paying portal that you're going to use? Um, John, can pay you? It's PayFast pay as far as I okay. know. Yeah. PayFast. Pay and we're using you, Africa. So. Okay, but you're going to get to that at some point. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. so, okay. So does anyone have any more questions about the the back end, how you load a product that I need to have the screen open or can I stop sharing? I'll have to re, re I'll have to reload this thing because I missed the whole spot. I couldn't get sound. You know I've got sound, I missed that whole thing, but I will look at it later. So I don't okay. have any questions right now. Okay. Um, I, I have a question. <laughs> yes. Um if we already have an online shop, yes. Then do we have to put different things or do we put all the same things like having your stuff on two different shops or should you only have one shop or if, if I can sort of speak to that, I think it's fine to have um, two separate shops. There's not a way in which you can sync it. Um, but if, you would just have to be able to manage sort of both. So um, I still wanted to talk to sort of JB. JB, maybe you can give input on this, just that if people are also away from their shop for a period of time and you can't fulfill orders, 
um, there'll be a way to almost, you know, put your sort of sight uh, to sleep in a sense. But then, um, yeah, if you have more than one site, as I say, you just have to be able to manage your orders that if something sells, you can mark it as sold on both. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, you've got time zone down here, uh, universal time plus whatever. So do we have to set that? But that's, who do we set? No, that's another one, uh, small thing that's going to be removed. So you don't need to worry okay. about that. That will, be that will be removed as well as the PayPal, yeah. Okay. Um, can I ask something? Yes. Um, what happens if your product is sold? Does it remove itself or do you have to remove it from your site? It's not an automatic thing. It will, it will, it will mark it as sold on your site and yeah. then you will get, um, be notified sort of by email and then you need to basically, um, after you finish wrapping it, when it's ready to be picked up to a courier, you will see a link on the site where you'll be able to click that you can mark it, that it's ready to be picked up from the courier. And um, and then once you've done that, you'll be emailed the waybills. So you'll basically get about sort of three waybills. One, uh, then you'll print that out at home. One will be stuck to the product and uh, one you keep for yourself. And then one goes with the courier. So there's basically three of them um, so that everyone has a, yeah, basically. Okay. And then, okay. yeah, goes to the client. Basically, that's how it works. But you, you'll be notified yeah, by email as soon as you'll get the notification when something's sold. And then it's quite clear on your site and then it will mark it as sold. So. Okay. Nada, could I ask a question? Yeah. Um, what happens if you sell the thing on your site, right? But the person lives, say, in Musenberg or whatever, and they want to pick it up from you and not have it couriered? Can that be done or does it have to be couriered? I think it can be done. I, uh, we'll just look at that, that they'll be able to put it as an option, like a pick up option. Yeah, pick up we'll option. Do, yeah. I yeah. think that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. In Cape Town, we can deliver or we can pick up. You know. Finally? Yeah. Yes. Jean, just, just a, a point. Yes. Uh, in stock five, price 250. Yes. Is it necessary to put each? If you so, yes, per so, item, you know. So sorry, is it necessary? I'm not quite understanding your question. See urchin bowl. And yes. In, in stock, there are five. Yes. Right. Two hundred and fifty rand. Yes. Now, some bright spark might look at that and think, gee, that's great, I get five. Okay, no, no, no. Remember, this is the, the area that you can see, but your customers can't see this. So what your customers will be able to see, I'm just going to click on it now, is they'll be able to see this side, which is the customer-facing side of the website where you can see 250 Rand is a price, and below that there are five in stock. Thank but, you. Yeah, when something's in stock, then it just means there's five of them for sale, not, not that you'll get five for that price. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can I make a recommendation? I think you're going to be overwhelmed with bowls, and maybe you should differentiate between small bowls and large bowls. Yes. Okay. Um, Nada, can we take that on? Um, look, I think that, that's something that we'll discuss as the committees and sort of like vote on it. Um, yeah. We initially just, you know, went through all the different options of categories that you can have. You also don't want too many sort of categories on the left-hand side, I think, for people to sort of scroll through. But that's not a bad suggestion, and I think we'll look at it, yeah, as a committee and discuss it. But thanks, thank you for the suggestion. That's good. Andy, how many products can we upload? Um, I think what, we, what we're looking at, um, it's, it's as many as you'd like to. But I think while we're all getting to know the system, I would probably advise between five and ten. Just so that, 
yeah, yeah. A, if, if, if you can load more than that mm -hmm. and you're understanding how it's worked, that's great. We just, by the launch, we want to help everybody at least have a couple of uh, products sort of on their page. And we'll, we can also, uh, yeah, provide a bit of assistance. So just one thing on that. Um, one thing I do want to make everyone aware of is if for whatever reason you're having difficulty in ensuring that your images that you upload are square and you you actually cannot cannot do it for whatever reason and you would like help with that you are i am offering my help as a private service to assist those and um, it will be at a fee and um what i would ask is if you can drop me an email and i can discuss it offline what your what your needs are and we can come to an agreement for for a fee for me doing that for you um so there is there is normal help where I will be um, supplying help for anyone who needs um, assistance with uploading products and queries and so forth. But um, in terms of the um, ensuring that the imagery is square before you start uploading, um, that'll have to be, uh, you'll need to drop me an additional email on that. Hanley, regarding yes. that square image, Yes. Um, if it's like when you look at it on the screen, you know, when you're editing your photo. Yes. If it looks square, is it square? Or does it have to be absolutely to the millimetre square? Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yes. if, it, if it's looking square, is it I square? Think the, an the answer to that is then you won't really have control of how it's cropped in the when, after you've uploaded sure. it. Sure. But, but if you, if you are... If it's as near as damn it square and you've got a little bit of, of space around your image, sure, sure. Um, it's still gonna come out square, isn't it? It's not yes. it doesn't it's not too too drastic that it's like maybe two yeah. millimeters longer on one side than the other. May I ask why the images are not square, why they're closest to square but not quite Well, square. because I don't know is the answer. I mean I do my editing oh. on a software package that I just crop it till it looks square. I can't tell whether it's square because it doesn't give me millimeters, it gives me pixels. And I don't know how many millimeters a pixel is. Okay. So I just do like Sorry, let, let me interrupt you for a sec. You can make it square by pixels. If it's 200 by 200 pixels, it'll be square. <laughs> well, when I tried that and it came out like with a really long, narrow line, almost. Mm. Okay, well, that's something different. Okay. Just, if, if it's approximately square, it'll come out square. That's all I wanted to know. That's great. Okay, thanks. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. And then I can see everyone again. Um, are there any other questions that I can answer? Can I um, tell you one thing, maybe, because I don't know if you've, you've touched on it, so uh, just because we're talking about the photos that are uploaded. Yes. Uh, can be uploaded. What is quite nice is that the photos are going to be um, automatically resized. So you don't need to worry about your high res images to resize it before you upload it to the site. You just have to make sure that they're square, but you don't need to do any image resizing. Super, super. What I am going to say is, um, as I mentioned right at the beginning, we are recording the session. Um, so I am going to make this available to everyone um, and even those who, who weren't able to make the session. We have also put a video together um, taking you through basically the simple steps of adding a product and, um, and so forth. So I will make that available. And on the back of this, I will be putting together a how-to document, going through each step-by-step -step, um, in terms of um, how to do this. So, um, so hopefully that'll, that'll assist you with any, any further questions you have. And um, I do just want to assure you, this is the start of the conversation and start of the journey on this. And we will, this is only the first of many Zoom sessions we'll be offering to talk about various, various different things on the platform. So don't be alarmed at everything. I know there's a lot of information we're putting, throwing out, but um, 
we are aiming to take you through step by step. And, Thank you. Um, very yes. helpful. <laughs> very helpful. Once we get used to it, it's fine, but there's a lot of information to take in right now all at once. If you're not used to it, you know, I don't do this kind of stuff ever. So yes. it's quite, yeah. And how do we access this information, that these videos and so on you're putting on, this particular one, how do we access it? I will be sharing, John's going to share the link with me after the session, and then I will be sending it out um, to on everyone email. who signed up to the shop. On email, and then we can yes, stick on, on the link. Yes, on okay. email, yes. yes. Okay, thank you, and thank you for all this work with you and Nada and John, it's fantastic, I really appreciate you. Yes, yes thank you. Um, just one other thing, sorry. Um, yes. where, where do we get our username from? <laughs> so how do we know what our username is so that we can go on the site in the first place? Not again. <laughs> yeah, no, so that's in the next link um, to be sort of sent out and that's when you register for the site. So that's the next email that's gonna be sent out to everyone is the email where you can actually register as a user. As soon as you, you you'll, you'll see it's quite sort of yeah, easy just to put the link. And I, I don't know if you were here sort of in the beginning, Hanley explained that as soon as you register as a user, she will get a notification email just to okay you um, as a user or, or however you put it. And then you'll get another email and then there, that's where you'll set your username and you'll set your password, etc. cetera. Okay. When you say username, it's just your name. Well, it's whatever you choose to use as a username. Yeah. So it, it could be your email address or it could be just your name. I just use my my name, uh, but one yeah, word, would. Spencer, sort of together and then put a... Yeah, I would do that. Not com that's, that's, that's not, not complicated. That's what people will see. That's just what you use to log in. That's not your like, profile name. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just one thing to add at the end of that, we are working on a, I am uh, working on a disclaimer for everyone who's going to be a vendor on the site. Just a, a sort of, not a, a policing document, but more a guidance document about um, how the shop will work, what's expected of you, what's expected of CSA committee, and how we work together going forward. Um, it is in draft form at the moment. We are working on it as a committee. And as soon as that's ready, this will also be sent out to all of you for you to sign and say that you accept the, the terms and conditions of signing up to the shop. Um, can, I have, can I say something? Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, I see um, Marina King spoke about description of size and dimensions. Um, just to say, I'm, I have an online shop and I've been using the same program. The okay. Um, and I've always added the, when it says shipping, I've put the, the weight and the dimensions of the object then. Now, I'm just curious, and that sort of, it, it comes up if someone goes to my shop, they see the weights and dimensions of the object. Mm. So, the way you're doing it, you're saying it should be the packaged item. Is that because the shipping company you, you're going to use requires that? Or, because okay. what we do with ours is we just have a flat rate mm. for within the, the Cape, the Western Cape, and then a, another rate for for the rest of the country and for uh, overseas ones we say that we have to get a, a quote but I'm just curious if, if you said that it should be the the weights yeah. and the yeah. it should be a packaged item so Clementina I, I might I might be wrong on that I think um, because I, I've also seen when you've loaded that that does come up on your sort of main page you know for the client sort of to see the size and the weights so I think that's just something we're going to just um, clarify with the sort of developers sort of today. And I think um, what we'll ask is when we send people the link and they start to load their products, they can almost just leave that category for now. And then in the next few days, like they can just already start loading all their images and descriptions and things. And then next week, um, well, in the next few days, we'll have that sorted and then people can just load there correctly. Because I don't want people to load and then they have to change it. Yeah, uh, it could very well be like what you've said. That's actually more just your product weight. So, 
I suppose it depends how the at the end the shopping cart is going to determine the shipping actually yeah. so that's what well that will be our next um workshop yeah <laughs> yes okay thank you very much thank you can, can i say something yes can i add something uh talking about the disclaimer is there going to be anything on the site for the seller uh, uh, yes. you know, that needs to be disclaimed, you know, that, that they can't take responsibility for the shop, for the packet, the, the shipment or, or anything like that. Totally, totally. So, yes. So the most important thing was given that everyone wanted to get their things onto the site and start using the site, is that's why we prioritised the vendor disclaimer. But definitely um, there is going to be a terms and conditions for the customers as well as a privacy statement talking about how we handle the information um, and a legal disclaimer as well um, okay. for, for customers. A yeah. lot of work for you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've got a lot of expertise, I'm very impressed. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you and Nada and John and whoever else is involved. <laughs> Are there any other questions, ladies and gents? Oh, yes. If I can, if I can <laughs> pop in for one second. Sorry, go on. All I want to say is there's quite a few balances outstanding still. If people would yeah. like to just make sure those are paid in. That's all yeah. I want to say. <laughs> okay, so just on that, um, what Jill's going to be doing is sending me a list of the people who have paid up, and obviously they'll get the link to register onto the site first. And as soon as you are paid up um, and Jill receives your proof of payments, you'll then, um, Jill and I will be coordinating very closely so I can send the link out to you. Um, so that's, that's how we plan to manage it going forward. Thanks. And Lee, can I ask a question? Yes. Hi. What is the going forward? Hi. What is the <laughs> limit to the number of items one can have on a on your site? Um, JB, is there a limit? No, no, there's no limit. I don't see a reason for a limit. I, okay, I think sky's pretty much your limit. It's how much you can handle um, putting putting it on. Yes. Um, I think, do think at a later yes. workshop, um, it might be worthwhile, and maybe you can advise me here, that we look at how you can set it up so you can add products in the most time efficient way. If there's, if that would be useful for people, um, because obviously if you're adding 50 products, you don't want to be sitting at your desk for however long. Um, and I'm sure there are a few tips and tricks in terms of how to have all your information ready before you begin. So then you can um, upload in them as, as swiftly as you can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Liz? Yes. The price that we put on, um, must that include the packaging? No. Or add packaging? Um, Nada, are you still around? Hi. Can you jump in? Um, sure. Sure, I'm not sure. I, th I think it would, um, because it's more just the courier fees goes on top of that. So yes, it would. It would include the packaging sort of fee from you. Yeah. Because I could, sorry, I just had a moment where I had to think, um, maybe I'll change my video here, because I mean, I have my own um, sort of Shopify page. And there, you know, it's the artist's responsibility. You get sort of, you know, pay the courier sort of afterwards. So you can set the price more. But over here, that's all sort of more automated. So, yeah, I would say you need to include that sort of in your price. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So I think that's probably a wrap. Um, if anyone has any, if you think of a question and burn, you need a burning, burning answer to it, please drop me an email on um, the admin at ceramicsonline.coza or any of the committee members and they'll make sure I get it. And I'll do my very best to come back to you as soon as I can with an answer. 
Um, thanks, thanks all for attending, and I hope it's I hope you've learnt a lot, and it hasn't been too overwhelming. Thank you very much for your work. I have to look at it again because we missed half of it. Thanks a million. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Thanks, Anna.